Parts of a computer lesson 2. By the end of this lesson, you should describe peripheral parts of computer hardware. In lesson 1, we discussed the main parts of a computer. We stated that there are two parts of a computer. These are hardware and software. We also looked at the main parts of computer hardware. These are the monitor, keyboard, mouse, system unit, motherboard, central processor or processing unit, CPU, random access memory, RAM, and the power supply unit, PSU. Please ensure that you watch lesson one because this is a build up lesson. In this particular lesson, we are going to discuss the peripheral devices that are also part of computer hardware. Before we discuss other devices that are part of computer hardware, let's look at some important terminologies that are used in computer studies. Computer, any electronic device that can be programmed to store, retrieve, and process data. Hardware, the physical parts of a computer that you can see and touch. Software, sets of instructions, programs, or applications that tell a computer what to do. Data. This is unprocessed or raw information that is not meaningful. Information is processed data which has become meaningful and useful to the user. Peripheral devices. A peripheral device is a piece of equipment that can be connected to a computer for the purpose of data input, output, or both. PDA, Personal Digital Assistant. It is a handheld personal computer, like a mobile handheld device, that provides computing and information storage and retrieval capabilities for personal or business use. Bit, binary digits that are zero or one, the smallest unit of storage. Byte is the unit of storage capacity, which is equivalent to eight bits. Kilobyte, measurement of storage, which is equivalent to 1024 bytes. Megabyte, it is a measurement of storage capacity, which is equivalent to 1024 kilobytes. Gigabyte, it is a measurement of storage capacity equivalent to 1024 megabytes. By now, you are familiar with some terminologies used in computer studies. We will look at some more in the next lesson. We will now discuss peripheral parts of computer hardware. Some hardware devices that we use with the computer are not essential to make the computer work, but they help us in doing tasks like printing and scanning. These devices are called peripheral devices. There are many peripheral devices that can be connected to the computer to perform various tasks. Some examples are printer, scanner, an interruptible power supply, speakers, headsets, joysticks, microphone, barcode scanner, and so on. Do you know any other peripheral devices that we have not discussed in this lesson? Kindly make a list of other peripheral devices you know and describe how they work with the computer system. For the sake of this lesson, we will only discuss the printer, scanner, and an interruptible power supply, UPS, in details. A printer 
is used to make hard copies of information that is on the computer. This can be text, pictures, and so on. There are different types of printers. Most people in small offices and homes use inkjet printer that prints text and pictures by spraying small drops of ink on a page. They usually print up to 20 pages per minute. In large organizations, they use laser printers which print about 40 to 50 pages per minute. There are also other types of printers that can scan documents. A scanner is a device that copies printed documents and creates an electronic or soft copy that can be stored in the computer or storage device. People use scanners to scan pictures, certificates, and other important documents. As we conclude the lesson, let's look at the uninterruptible power supply, UPS. The computer is a very delicate machine with sensitive electronic circuits. Sudden power failure may damage the computer and crush important information. The uninterruptible power supply gives the computer enough time to shut down when there is power failure. The UPS is plugged in the power source at the same time connected to the computer. It stores power and when there is power failure, it takes over to supply power to the computer to keep it running for a while. Activity Number one, define the following terms. A. Computer B. Hardware C. Software D. Peripheral E. Bit F. Byte Number two, make a list of six peripheral devices and describe how you can use them with the computer. Summary In this lesson, you learned about peripheral devices which are part of computer hardware. You learned that the main peripheral devices are an interruptible power supply, printer, and scanner. You also learned some terminologies that are used in computer studies like hardware, software, data, information, peripheral devices, and many more.